American Idol fans have threatened to boycott the show after being inundated with emotional stories about each contestant. A frustrated viewer headed to the American Idol Reddit community to air their grievances about the singing competition. I really can't with the sob stories anymore, especially with the sneaky edits, they wrote. After explaining that one contestant's loved one had been dying of cardiomyopathy, the fan revealed that they had lost loved ones to the same condition. I didn't want to be reminded of that pain while I'm just trying to enjoy a singing competition, the viewer complained. This show is supposed to be a distraction from the troubles of everyday life, not make the viewer break down while watching. They wrote that while they understood that they can just fast forward through the parts they don't like, they find that American Idol can be a bit sneaky about the way the moments happen. I thought I forwarded through the sad stuff, begin the song, and then wham. A recounting of a loved one's death and a reminder to me of my own pain. It's got to stop. I don't know how much more I can watch of this show if they don't get a new showrunner soon. It turned out that the fan wasn't alone with their frustrations, as others chimed in as well in the comment thread. It's not going to stop, one wrote bluntly. If anything, they'll just keep going with the stories, another chimed in. I feel like to an extent, the stories are exploitive. I agree it's awful. I just want to see talented people perform, one wrote. I can't handle the sob stories anymore, such a pain, another added. I will only watch it by DVR or time shifted so I can FF through the blah, blahs, blahs and voices that don't interest me. I can cut an hour or more off the show. I don't think I would watch the show otherwise. Idol's Facebook page for ABC Idol has been a good indicator of who goes far on the show. Its stats have predicted most winners. On their FB page, many don't seem to have that much of a problem with backstories. In general, many of the contestants with backstories have better stats. If Idol is looking at FB, it might think many don't have a problem with it, one fan suggested. Meanwhile, fans turned their ire toward Judge Katy Perry, who made a contestant cry with a fake-out elimination. Katy, 39, seemingly mishandled a conversation between contestant Odell Bunton Jr. during the show's final judgment on Monday. She went to deliver the bad news to Odell before asking about his home life. Odell called it tough, looking a bit emotional. We got a total of 12 people living in a hotel room. Just two beds and a little kitchen area, he said. Tears began to fall as he spoke to Katie, calling today an emotional day. Katie then seemingly told Odell that his time was up on Idol. You know, Odell, it's a lot of pressure having a platinum ticket. I don't even know what the pressure is having 12 people under one roof, Katie said. But we have to make decisions that are hard. Even when life is hard. Unfortunately, this as far we can take you, she continued. Yes, ma'am, Odell said quietly, clearly upset. But Katie wasn't actually done delivering the news. It's going to be up to America from here on out because you're in our top 24, she added after making Odell wait for her next words. Oh God, Odell said as he eked out a sob. Idol judges Luke Bryan and Lionel Richie went to comfort Odell, who was clearly overwhelmed by the news. Katie's move did not sit well with fans. Katie, I hate you for that hashtag top 24 hashtag American Idol, one person wrote on the social media platform. OMG. My heart dropped for a second when Katie did that. Damn you, Katy Perry. I'm so, so glad that Odell Bunton Jr. is in the top 24. Hashtag American Idol, someone else raged. Katie, why you make us cry like this? Hashtag American Idol, a third person chastised. Katie had that man thinking he about to go back to that hotel tonight with 12 folks. Hashtag American Idol, they added.